Hi, my name is Lynn Konetsky and I'm an early childhood speech pathologist and I just wanted to take a few minutes to share with you some of my favorite strategies to help young children develop language skills. Um, so the focus of this short video will be on gestures and using early sign language. So gestures are just anything that we do with our hands or our body to help aid in communication to kind of support the things that we are saying um, and to give clues about the things that we're talking about. So, you know, a lot of times um, a simple gesture could be something like pointing. Um, a lot of times when I'm talking to parents, I hear, you know, that my child points and grunts or they'll take my hand and lead me into the kitchen and point to something up on the counter. And I always tell parents that's a great place to start because that's a great early communication skill. You know, your child is trying to tell you something um, that they want. They just don't have the words or the specific way to tell you. Um, a really specific type of gesture is called a sign. Um, you know, a gesture like pointing is pretty general. You know, it can represent anything. You can point to a cup, you can point to a snack, you can point to a toy. Um, whereas a sign is going to represent a specific word. So something like ball or drink or eat. Um, and signing is a great place to go from gesturing. So it, it gives them a more specific way to communicate their wants and needs. Um, I wanted to share with you a few fun um, tips for making signing successful, if that's something that you would like to use. Um, and then I'd also like to share with you some of the top 10 easy signs to start with for your little ones. Um, just kind of as a, a special note, um, signing is a great starter point for communicators, but I don't want you to be discouraged that um, by using sign, we're not saying that your child isn't ever going to speak verbally. Um, actually, it's kind of the opposite. Using sign helps reduce some of that frustration. Um, in order to communicate and often can help them make connections between the words that you're saying and the signs that you're using and the objects that they're interacting with. Um, so let's start with those top 10 tips to make signing fun and successful within your life. So the first thing, always start with a few. You don't want to overwhelm your child by introducing them to 10 to 15 different signs. Um, usually start with one um, that you can make applicable in the most situations and routines within your life. And then once they've mastered that, try adding on a couple others. Um, the next tip is to always use the sign and the word together. So for example, if I'm going to use the word ball because I'm interacting with my child and they're playing with a ball, I'm going to show them ball. As I do the sign, I'm always going to pair that with that word. Oh, roll me the ball. Do you want the ball? So then they're going to start to pair the word ball with the sign and with the object that they're using. Um, and they're going to start to imitate that gesture and then hopefully eventually imitate the verbalization of the word ball. Um, repeating the sign in the word frequently. Um, so as you saw me demonstrate just a few seconds ago, say it frequently and often throughout your routine. So you can talk about ball, but you can say you can roll the ball, you can kick the ball, it's the red ball. And I just gave you three different ways and you can say ball three different times in a very short period of time. So they're getting a lot of repetition. And again, they're always pairing that word with the gesture with the object. So it's gonna help them pick up on those um, words and gestures really quickly. Um, Point when possible. So like we talked about, pointing is a pretty general gesture, but it's very powerful. And I know as an adult, I use it all the time. I talk with my hands um, and I see little kids use pointing all the time to help communicate their wants and needs. Um, so as I'm you know, introducing signs, we'll stick with ball for a second. Um, if I'm playing with my son and he wants the ball, I'm gonna say, oh, roll me the ball. Do you want the ball? And then to help him make that connection, especially when first introducing, I'm gonna also point to the ball. So he's making that connection of, oh, this object that I play that I'm interested in is called a ball. That must be what mom's talking about. Um, the next tip is to guide your baby's hands when possible. We call this hand over hand. So sometimes babies can't, quite make that connection between what to do with their mouth when they see your mouth moving, what to do with their hands when they see your hands moving. So sometimes, especially in the beginning, it helps to show them what we want. So by taking their hands and putting your hands over them and helping guide their hands into that um, position to form that sign. So, you know, I might take my son's hands and help him form ball, as I'm saying ball. Um, make signing a part of your daily activity. So every time you're interacting and saying the word ball, model it, say it, and view it frequently every day. So the more repetition they get, the more successful they're gonna be with using those signs. Um, watch for any opportunity to use it. So, you know, you might get in a routine of playing with a ball every day and then two or three days later, you might find ball pop up in a completely different context. Don't be afraid to use ball and the sign and the word in that situation as well. Be flexible. If your child isn't picking up on it, 
don't be frustrated. Um, don't feel like you have to use it the same way every time. Um, and don't feel like if you're not picking up on it and it's not a habit, it's a new habit for you as well. It's, it's something that you're going to learn um, to use throughout your day. So you're, you're not gonna be perfect at first. Um, that kind of leads right into the next tip, to be patient. Um, and finally, just make it fun. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, it's just something different to add to your daily routine to kind of help that child communicate and to help them reduce some of that frustration. And it's gonna make communicating and interacting a lot more fun um, for you and for your child. Um, so finally, I just want to wrap up this short video by sharing um, the top 10 signs that I often um, have families choose to start with or use early in their journey with using sign language. Um, I'm going to show you them and hopefully you find some benefit in introducing these to your families. Um, so the first one is more. You're just going to take your hands, bring your four tip, um, tips to your fingers of your thumb and you're going to bring them together. More. Um, the next one is eat. You're gonna bring, just kind of like with more, your tips of your fingers to your thumb, bring it up to your mouth and tap. Eat. Um, the next one is drink. So this one you're gonna form your hand into a C like this. And you're just gonna model like you're taking a drink. So drink. Uh, the next one is water. You're gonna do a, dub, a sign language W or holding up three uh, with your fingers. You're gonna bring it to your chin and tap. Water. Um, the next one is please. So you're going to take your hand flat and rub it in small circles on your chest. Please. Next one is thank you. Again, flat hand, bring it to your chin and bring it forward. Thank you. Uh, the next one is help. So non-dominant hand is flat. Dominant hand formed into a thumbs up and lift up. Help. Um, the next one is all done. So both hands um, parallel with your body and sweeping out motion. All done. The next one is fun for moms and dads, especially with little ones who haven't said that name yet and they want to communicate. Um, mom, so you're going to take your open fist, thumb towards your chin, and you're just going to move it in and out. Mom, dad is very similar. Same motion with your hand, only off your forehead. Dad. Now again, remember that signing is not saying that your child's never going to communicate verbally. It actually is going to help support that verbal communication and just help reduce that frustration in the meantime, giving them specific words or ways to communicate that are a little more specific than pointing and grunting and leaving you to guess. Um, I hope this was a little bit helpful for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Again, my name is Lynn Knetsky and I will see you next time.